There we go, they're out. Qualifiers live for the first race of the year. Who's going out in Q1? This is too hard to predict. I don't f***ing know. How am I meant to predict? For the race tomorrow. Oh, lock up for the Claire straight away and something fell off his car. Oh, wow. That's not good. Oh, wow. Something fell off on the straight and something fell off in the corner. Oh, I see it now. Half his and wheel cover's gone. Yo! I meant to come into Bahrain and going karting instead of watching the Grand Prix. Yep, Max goes three tenths ahead of Stroll. And I think Alonso's gonna go two tenths ahead of Max here. He does? Wow. It's actually true. The Claire's two, a, a tenth up on Alonso right now, though. And Russell's a tenth up on Alonso. Wow. Wow. Please, I want this. Please, please, please. Signs a tenth up on Russell. Wow. Okay, maybe the Ferraris and the Mercs are turned down. Oh, no. McLaren. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Fuck it no. up. They're way down. Zach, what happened, my dude? What has happened? You've gone from best to the rest to fucking second worst. Wait, Toto has some Aston Martin glasses on. What is that? Holy shit. Please tell me the whole of Q3 is like this. If we've got six drivers, sorry, eight drivers fighting for pole and race wins every week, that will be so good. I'm not getting too hyped. Red Bull are going to turn it up for Q3. L1's only three Three tenths off of signs right now. Oh! Stroll up to fifth. Fucking hell. Look how tight that is as well. DeVries is out. First man out in qualifying this year. Quite far off of Sonoda. That's a stinky lap from DeVries. And Piastri. No, just ahead of DeVries, but out as well. Hulkenberg, can he make it out? He does. And ahead of Verstappen. Oh, not a bad lap from Sargent. Oh, he matched with Norris. No. <laughs> oh, what the fuck is this? There's seven tenths between the top 16. This is fucking nuts. Last year, from first to sixth was a second. This year, from first to 16th is seven tenths. That is insane. It, you cannot tell me that the budget cap and the reverse wind tunnel time has not helped Formula One. This is so fucking good right now. Oh, Albon's gone wide. He's going to get that time deleted. Wow. No, he's kept it in. Millimeters perfect. Oh, four tenths. Oh, that's, no, this is my worry. Like, if a team's gonna dominate, I hope it's Red Bull. But I don't want it. I don't want this to be this far ahead. Can I want make Q3 in this Williams? Oh, and lap time deleted. Well, fucking hell. Oh man, that's a stonking lap from Ocon. Fucking hell. Ocon's gonna go up to P5 here. Holy! Huge lap. Oh, okay. No, fucking Hulkenberg. No, okay. The track's just getting way better. Nor. Oh my dude. Holy fuck. This Norris guy. Leclerc up to pole. Oh, oh, oh just, just, just. Still, shout out Norris, maxing out that car like he always does. Hulkenberg is back and into Q3. What the fuck? I don't know who's the best car in quality right now. There's three tenths between the top six. Max is looking good though. Unless I see a purple pop up on anyone else. Oh, the Claire purple set to two. Oh, oh, sorry. I thought he matched Max. He's just dead on a one minute 30. One tenth off. That's good though. It's weird being a Red Bull fan, but also really wanting to see Ferrari, Merck and Aston beat them just so we know that there's a fight this year. So Merck's going out now, they're not going to do a run at the end. He keeps doing this. Oh, very slidey on the exit there. That wasn't a great lap. No, up to four. It's not as tight as we thought. Q1's very different to Q3 here. But Alonso out qualifying Russell and Hamilton. Holy shit. 50 milliseconds between those four. Wait, the Claire's got out of his car? What? Oh, no. That's fucking annoying to start off the season, man. That's so anticlimactic. Merck went out early. Alonso went out early. The Claire's out of the fucking car. Fuck. That's what we wanted. We wanted to see people fight for pole. Only three people fighting for pole right now. What the fuck? This is, oh, that's annoying. Oh, he's matching Max. Okay. Come on, Perez. Imagine sign six on pole. Oh, he's matching Verstappen as well. So Max improves. And Perez. Up to P2. A tenth and a half off. Max is just still in his own little league at the front there. But signs. Can he split them? No. Goes P4. Wow. Okay. The Claire's definitely going to be fighting for poles again this year, it looks like. I did expect Max pole, but I didn't expect Perez. P2. It's good to see four teams up there, man. This is good. Oh, I just know for a fact Gunter's already... Gene, Gene, did you see that, Gene? We got P10, Gene. And then by the end of the year, they fucking suck again. Locking up on a formation lap. Brother man, what are you doing? Nine months time. Who is going to be champion? I predicted Max Verstappen to be champion. Red Bull to be Constructors champion. But I'd love to be proven wrong. I want to see a good fight again this year. Lights are on now. And away we go. Good start from Max and Leclerc and Sainz. Oh, oh, oh. 
Holy shit. No crash. That was good avoiding from, from Perez. I don't know how they survived that. Oh my god. Is that the Merc? I can't tell between the Merc. Oh! And Stroll's just taking out Alonso's wing. No fucking way. I can't, literally can't tell between the Mercs and the Astons from a far shot. I'm so fucking lost right now. Wait, who was that? Oh my god. Oh my god. I think they've gotten away with that. There's something on the track. Whose car is that? If that's an Aston, I'm pissed. Dude, the Aston's and Merc look fucking identical. I should have to use my brain to figure out who it is. Dude, there's so much going on right now. They're so tight. I mean, it's only the second lap, but maybe I'm just used to F2, the big sprint. No, don't. Why? Why cut to a replay? Holy No, 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 no. I've been defending Stroll all weekend. What is that? I kind of wish he kind of took Alonso out there. If you're going to do a dumb move like that, you deserve to be punished for it. He's so lucky that they got away with that. Holy fuck, that is ridiculous. Whose bodywork was that then? Was it Haas? No way it's like Magnussen's front wing again. Look at this from the Claire Signs and Perez. So the Claire squeezes Perez and Signs was smart enough here. Oh, actually, no. Signs just wasn't alongside. And then look how fast Stroll's back. That is what? Oh, holy shit. To be fair, Alonso was coming into that corner quite sharp and slow, but my lord. Wow, Perez had to break really early to avoid the back of his teammate. Holy fuck. He literally can't use his wrist to turn around the corner. Do you see? He took his hands off his wheel to get around the corner. That's... Uh. Oh. Okay, that was Hulkenberg. Oh, there you go. Poor Hulkenberg. At least it was Magnussen losing his front wing this time, but Hulkenberg, welcome to the party. Oh my god, Max is already three seconds ahead. Fucking hell. Williams on the verge of points right now. This is so good to see. Oh, lock up from the clear. Is Perez going to get past? Cut the fucking camera. Yeah, Perez is going to be able to go for the overtake here. Oh, look, there's a visor strip on Perez's radio antenna. See, I was literally just saying, why in 2023 have we not figured out a solution for the fucking visor strips? And there's one stuck to Perez's car. I hate it. They need to just have a little pocket inside the inside the cockpit that they put them in. Three times a year, there's people like, oh, my, my race was fucked by a visor strip. If I'm the leader, I'm putting 100 visor strips on my helmet and just tearing them all off at the start of the race and hoping one gets stuck in someone's fucking brake. That's actually smart. Wait, Sonoda's gonna tear off? I think I have a tear off on my left side pod. That's crazy. I love how close the field is right now. Almost everyone's in DRS range of each other. No more than two seconds apart, apart from Max. Is Lewis managing or is he slow? I feel like I've got a bit more pace. Struggling. Lewis is struggling. <laughs> fucking Russell. The radio is probably earlier, but you know, Russell makes a mistake and then goes, is, is Lewis struggling? We're going plan A. Oh no, the fucking plans are back. I thought we had a new strategist at Ferrari. Nah, you, you gotta keep the same system, but let's just hope the plans are actually good this year. Plan A, plan atrocious. Oh my god. Yep, Alonso's in DRS now. Thanks to that lockup from Russell, that puts him in the fight with the two Mercs. I'm a bit disappointed that we've not seen a fucking overtake since, like, lap three. Oh no! They just cut to Max, and he was going, like, slowly, and then I saw a radio pop up. You just knew it was gonna be bad. Not like last year, man. Oh, and Gazian. He's at the back of the grid, so it makes sense. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite disappointed in Perez's pace. If Max is able to be seven seconds in front of Leclerc, you should be able to get past easily. But he's not even DRS range. Wow, he's like barely gaining with DRS. Here we go. <gasps> okay, well, Norris gets past... No, sorry, Piastri gets past Hulkenberg. What a stupid cut. Alonso didn't overtake Russell, but, like, they shouldn't have cut there. Fernando's right on the back. Even through this sector. This is good. This is what we want to see. Okay, Albon put on the fresh softs. Interesting strap from Williams. This is allowed Stroll to catch up as well. He's going to get it done here. He's going to get it done. Come on, Alonso. And he's done it. Oh, my God. It's good to see Alonso back. Oh, no. Oh, nice. Good racing. And it's so good to see Alonso back in this front group. Well done, well done. Merck's tires really fell off. I wonder if they've got even worse tire deg than the Ferraris. We knew Aston Martin's tire deg was good, but I didn't think it would be this good. It looks like Merck's driving on 10 lap older tires. Oh, I hate the helmet cam. It makes me fall asleep every time. I can't see anything. Okay, the Claire's pitting. I mean, we know they struggle with tire deg. Wait, a double stop? What is happening? Please do a good double stop. Please do a good double stop. Okay, Ferrari actually pulled off a double stop. Oh no, oh no. Issue with Russell's. Uh, lost the oh no. Box this lap and swap the steering wheel. That is not good. Two mechanical issues for McLaren right now. Ocon's still driving. Wait, excuse me. Where's this man's meatball flag? Magnussen got two meatball flags last year for this. I think they should still be allowed to race to that. But quick wheel change, quick wheel change. Oh no. 
Oh, it's, oh, it's fucked. It's fucked. Oh, it's not started. Oh, it's, it's misfired. Oh, no. Another set of sauce for Verstappen. So Verstappen and Albon on the same strat. Wow. Yeah, I think they're going to have to retire him. The car's just like not starting. Five second time penalty for Ocon for being in the wrong grid position. How does that happen? Yeah, Russell wanted to get past that Haas ASAP. Put him right on the back of Alonso. And yep, he's retiring. Wow. That's not a good rookie race. You want to get as much experience as in the car as possible in your first race. Not retiring on lap 16. Fuck. The clear purpose didn't do a second lap in Q3 yesterday because he saved a fresh pair of softs, which he put on his car today. Yes, it helped him get that position on Perez, but he had three lap fresher tires and they pit him early. And not only did they pit him early, but they double stay with signs. Wouldn't you just make Leclerc stay out another lap or two? I don't get it. I don't get it. Wait, Bottas is pit and he's ahead of Alonso and Russell. Okay, the undercut is strong then. Where did he come from? He, he started the race P12. I'm so confused. And Alonso go past. I think Bottas realizes, like, he's not racing Aston Martin today. Don't waste too much time on him. Bottas defending the inside, or is he just letting Russell through? Oh, he's battling him, but no, gets it done. Andrea's having a map. How are the downshifts at the moment? They're relocking. It's interesting that Red Bull always seem to have issues in their first few races of the season. 2019, 2022, 2020, and this year, like, and Stroll gets past Bottas as well. I don't think I've ever seen his mum before. Lando, car ahead is Ocon. He served a penalty. Might have to have another one, but Fun with him. Who the fuck says that? We're so shit. Just fucking have fun with that guy. So this is why he's getting penned. Oh, he went way too far. I mean, look, fair pen. Okay, mate, so the penalty was for being out of position in the grid box at the start of the race. They repaired his wing while serving his penalty? Do you? Oh, another lockup from the Claire. And these two racing for fucking last place right now. Nothing else to watch. Let's watch the guys in last. So we are happy with your management now. Yeah, they have more deck, so. Alonso's loving this. He's confident that the Merc have more deck, and that first stint was awful for Merck, so I think they'll definitely fall, fall off. And they're only, he's only five seconds behind Signs now. Maybe at the end of the race, we could see him fighting Signs for P4. I don't see him getting a podium today. Leclerc's been killing it. And Perez going for it. Is Leclerc going to eye him up, though? No, he won't be able to come back. Oh, no, Perez got DRS. Okay. Wait, Ocon got another pen. I missed it. Speeding in the pit. Oh, my God. This man's... Uh, that's rust. And they're pumping up the air again for Norris. Look, Norris's race is over, but they may as well leave him out. Get data for the team. Okay, Merck doing the same shit as last year. Not listening to their drivers with what they're saying about the tires. I hope this works for Lewis, but yeah, the undercut is strong. Maybe this is a chance to trust your team. Lewis has got has trusted his team rather than overriding the decision. Oh, wow. Yeah, look at the undercut. Stroll's almost got him past Russell here. Two of the most aggressive drivers on the grid. They're going to crash. They're going to crash. I feel it. I feel it. Russell's not going to back out here. Oh, wow. Oh, he just flew past. Oh, Stroll was like, fuck the wrists. Fuck the wrists. I'm going to break my wrists again to, to get this move done. Done. As a Merck and Ferrari fan, Red Bull is cooking and everyone else is microwaving at best. <laughs> <laughs> Liverpool against Man United on Sky Sports main event. Why are you talking about football during an F1 race? What the fuck? I don't think I've ever heard a sport in my life advertise another sport during their sport. That's insane. Esteban, we're going to box this lap, please. We have another time penalty to serve. It's 15 seconds. Another pen! Just sit in the pits for like an hour at this point and just wait. There we go. Iron up. Oh, down the inside. Very nice. Oh, he lost the rear. Wow. That was really good from Lewis to stick it down the inside, but unfortunate from Alonso losing the rare there. Yeah, if there's anyone that Lewis is going to race hard, it's going to be fucking Alonso. Oh, 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 oh. what the fuck? I did not expect the move there. That was really good. That Yo, overtake of the year, in my opinion. Fuck, I, I haven't seen an overtake in there since fucking F2. Yes. <laughs> oh, we love to hear it. Yeah, that was really good from Lewis. He just knew the speed Alonso was carrying that he was going to go wide. Oh, my God. How we got that car stopped is fucking nuts. Mate, you... Oh! I mean, he's at the last anyway, but... Ocon, you didn't light up on your grid. Your team touched your car during your penalty, and you sped in the pit lane. Oh! Oh, come on. What happened, guys? Oh! <laughs> oh! 
<laughs> no, he's going to win the championship. Max broke down in Bahrain last year and won. The clay will break down and win. But no, seriously. At least stop the car somewhere to bring out a safety car. Fucking hell. Oh. And he took a new fucking battery before this race. Fucking hell, man. <laughs> That's not where you want to start your fucking season. The clay, don't cry. Remember, your boy Max retired at the first race. Don't worry. This is your year. This is what you want. Oh, my fucking God. It, it's just ridiculous, man. It's ridiculous. Oh, who's this? Gasly. Gasly last of the ninth. He's killing it. Holy shit. What the fuck? Everything's popping off now. Okay, Yuki gets past DeVries. DeVries is pushing Joe off track so Sonoda can get through. That was all teamwork from DeVries. If I push to defend, I might not make it to him. Signs really worried about his tire life for the race. Keep the pressure on him. He's worried about his tires. There he goes. Oh, he's going to go for the switchback. Oh! Okay, they've got some fucking titanium metal in these front wings of Aston Martin. Okay, he's going for the switchback on signs now. Oh! Go for it again. Go for it again. He's going for it again. Oh, no, no. He didn't have the grip. He didn't have the grip. Oh, something like that. Holy shit. Here's the run. And he's done it. He's on the fucking podium. He's back, dude. He is back. Sick racing. That is elite racing from Alonso. This is what I was saying about having eight drivers in the fight now is if you have a team or a driver like Sainz, you've got drivers like Hamilton and Russell there to steal the points away when it's not going well compared to previous years where you can fuck up and to get away with it. Aston Martin need to sell their wings to Haas because... Fuck me. So what did he do here? He went for the switch back. Oh. I want to see it from Alonso's POV. Did science come to the right or did Alonso understeer? Because from that view, it looks like Alonso understeered. This is where the experience comes in. Him and Lewis just know where to position their cars to defend, to attack, to get an overtake done. Yes. Bye-bye. <laughs> He's loving it, man. He's loving it. He's feeling fucking 20 years old again. We are checking. Focus on the race. We are checking. We are checking. We're always fucking checking. Uh, like, this is the first time I've seen Max since fucking lap five. Who's this? DeVries is struggling on those hearts now. <laughs> Lonzo's loving it. Oh, lock up from Yuki. That's not good with that many laps to go. I'm very proud of Gazi. I'm so fucking proud of him. DeVries up four. Well done, DeVries. You've overtaken three retired cars, a car that's had to fill itself up with air six times, and a guy with a broken wing. But well done. That's not me shitting on DeVries, by the way. I, I do think DeVries has potential, but he's not done too well today. It's more just like everyone in front of him's done better. Will Lance catch them? Lance is four seconds back from Hamilton. Copy, still amazing. Good to see that Alonso cares about the overall team result. Holy shit, Max is really lifting. Did you hear that? I thought he was breaking down. He lifted so early. Well done, Nui. Another awesome car. Always got to keep in mind, 22 races left for the year. There's a long season ahead, a lot of development ahead. Red Bull do have less wind tunnel time for winning last year. They have less wind tunnel time because of going over the cost cap. Will that play into effect later on in the season? Who knows? But well done to Max. Absolutely fucking dominant race, as you'd expect from Max at this point. Best car on the grid. Best driver on the grid currently. Perez P2, he did well. I do think he should have had better pace against the Claire at the start of the race, but in the end, he, 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 he picked it up. I just wish he could close down that gap on Verstappen. And Alonso! Back on the podium for the first time since Qatar last... No, Qatar in 2021. And Aston Martin's officially in the fight. He left Alpine. Everyone was like, what the fuck? And now he's on the podium. Fuck yes. And I predicted it correctly. Ferrari's race pace stinks. But it looks like Merck's in the same position. Signs quite far off the clear. But that's what's going to happen with the tire deck. Oh, look at that. Them going side by side. Well done, Max. Nice to see you. Yeah, very lovely, that. Really good result. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Exactly the start to the season we wanted and needed. It wasn't an insane race, but it was it was entertaining and it gave us a lot to talk about, which is what we want in Formula 1. Yes, what you have done, guys. What you have done. I'm so proud of you. What you have done. That's for Jim's 60th birthday. Happy birthday. The 60s are the new 40s. <laughs> <laughs> that makes me happy, man. Lawrence Stroll, Mike Crack, Dan Fellows, Fernando Alonso, Lance Stroll. What they've done with Aston Martin in the last one to three years being at that team, they've absolutely killed it. And I, I can't wait to see how they go for the rest of the season. Great work in stuff today. I know we're not where we want to be, but let's keep pushing. I've got a lot of faith in Merck. I think Merck's going to catch up in the development race. I think Aston Martin's going to catch up in the development race. Yo, this is fucking sick. Oh my God, he almost fucking broke the car doing that. Yo, get some sick photos of the fireworks, please. Yes, look at this. This is beautiful. Do a good pose for the photos. Elite. 
Oh, there you go. That's the shot right there. See that? When he went like that, side on, that's the shot right there. Yes, there's a celebration of Lonzo back on the podium. That's fucking sick, man. Oh, shout out Aston Martin. As much as you hate Lance, you gotta remember that his dad's money is allowing this team to compete at the front of the grid, which is what we need in Formula 1. And to have a driver like Fernando there is so good. Gasly, my driver of the day in terms of performance. Driver of the day, entertainment-wise, gotta be Alonso, but Gasly did such a good job. Up 11, you can give Lance shit all you want, thinking maybe you shouldn't have drove, but look, he drove today and he finished in P6. That's fucking amazing. Could Drago have done that? We'll never know, but to have had a surgery, hop in the car and do an entire week in a Formula 1 is crazy. And you have more wind tunnel time as well. Do you think that's gonna play into it? Good question. Oh, Nico with the good questions. We will not get much next year. <laughs> <laughs> good answer. Oh, here we go, here we go. He's gonna see Stroll. <laughs> If I speak, I am big trouble. <laughs> That's literally Alonso Lon Lon there. That's fucking hilarious. Whoever was doing that broadcast to zoom in on strolls on board, that was big brain. Billion dollar company and they can't fucking afford a mic in the cool down room? Holy shit. Australians at 2 a.m. after the Bahrain Grand Prix. And you're just listening to this fucking anthem again. But, oh, it was a good race. I enjoyed it. I was down, down and broken when I met you that night. Should have known you were something.